You know, in the last few years, a lot of people have given up on saving the world or trying to be a successful business person or a good parent and are concentrating instead on trying to make a half-decent cup of coffee. They start with uh, a blend of coffee beans from the South American mountains that have picked up a little extra flavor from the sweat of the donkey's back. And then they grind them all up in one of these fancy noisemakers. Wonder where that wrench got to. All right, then they take the ground up coffee beans, put them into this special pot, add some water in there, you boil that all up. Then they take one of these plunger units, goes down inside there, and they squeeze all the flavor out of the coffee. Odd to see a plunger on the input side of the equation, isn't it? <laughs> and then they have their cup of coffee. But maybe you can't afford all these special appliances. Maybe you've already spent your disposable income on college tuition or bail. You need a cheaper way to make coffee. All you need is a lawnmower with a grass catcher on it. Then what you do is you take your coffee beans, you make a pile of them on some smooth, hard surface, like a paved driveway or a sidewalk or the roof of your car, and you set the blade as low as she'll go, give the beans a quick buzz, I'm sure they'll return the favor later. Take our coffee grounds, pour them into our coffee pot, and then comes the best part, the plunging. That's because we don't have to do it by hand. See? The piston and cylinder of an internal combustion engine use exactly the same mechanical principles as a coffee plunger. But wait a sec, wait a sec. Let me put my coffee mug under the exhaust pipe first. The coffee will go through this thing pretty fast. We've all been there, haven't we? All right, now you just pour the coffee into the carburetor, pour it slow, you stall this thing, it's a pig to get her going again. Another bonus of this is, you can say to your guests, who wants more coffee? Get it? More. And here's another bonus, with the carbon monoxide mixed in there, this coffee won't keep you awake.